Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio and today we're going to be talking about tap settings and how they're used to determine loudness for your speaker system. So all 70 volt speakers have a tap setting on them. Um, you might be wondering what a tap setting is. So today we're going to be talking about that um, and how to utilize those to help determine the loudness of your overall system. So here we have the PD6 pendant speaker. It's one of our popular uh, speakers used in a number of applications. Um, on the back of it here, I'm gonna show you where the 70 volt transformer is located, where you will find those 70 volt tap settings. This particular speaker has four watt, eight watt, 16 watt, and 32 watt 70 volt tap settings here. So in short, the higher you tap the speakers, the louder um, its ability. So now that we've gone over the tap settings a little bit on this PD6, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the specs of the speaker and how those relate to the tap settings. So every speaker has a sensitivity, which is a measure of the sound pressure from a given distance, which in the audio world, that's from uh, one meter away using one watt of power. So for this particular speaker, the PD6, the sensitivity is 87 dB. Um, which means from one watt, from one meter away, the measurement is 87 dB. Now, if you're not super familiar with uh, decibels and how those are measured, or what the 87 dB even means, um, my normal talking voice right now is uh, roughly 60 dB. A lawn mower, for, per se, would be um, a lot higher at 90 dB, and if you've ever been at a concert, you're well over 100 dB, uh, maybe even upwards of 120, 125 dB. So you can see how 87 dB kind of fits um, on that scale. So why does this matter in a commercial application? Um, why do tap settings matter on the speakers whenever I'm setting up my system? Because every application is going to be different. Um, you may not need to utilize the highest tap settings because you don't need the loudness. Restaurants that are um, really busy, congested with a lot of people, um, the dB level may be higher than just a normal talking voice, so maybe the dB in that particular space would be 70 dB or higher. So you need that dB from the output from the speaker to be much higher than, say, a doctor's office or a clinic where it's really quiet. And so without getting uh, too much into the weeds on this, using that sensitivity for the PD6, let's go back to that. We have 87 dB from one watt, one meter. As you double the, the power, double the wattage, you gain three dBs. But how that plays into part is that you have a 32 watt tap setting. So you can see how that output gets higher each time you increase the tap settings. The kicker to that is as you get further away from the speaker, you lose dB. And every time you double that distance, you, you lose six dB. And so without getting too far into it, um, it's important to know the ceiling height, um, where the speaker is going to be located. Are people going to be sitting? Are they going to be standing? Um, do we need the music to be really loud? Do we need it to be really soft? Um, so that's what we factor in whenever we're designing systems. So um, that may be not something that you're familiar with and you don't, that's okay. We're here to help you with that design process. Um, you can let us figure that out for you based off your desired uh, idea for your space. Maybe you want it to be a rocking system. Maybe you just need to be super quiet. We can give you direction on speaker tap settings uh, based off of uh, your specific space. So as a super high level uh, overview of how tap settings are used in conjunction with sensitivity of speakers and the specs. Um, but if you have any additional questions, please reach out and let us know and we'll be happy to walk you through it. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.